Virgos, beautiful day to you, loves. Rise and grind. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing okay. We on the morning shift, okay? It is a before seven, okay? Sweetie up, making noise, driving me nuts, okay? But we are here to bring you a quick read. Thank you guys for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. I hope your day is off to an amazing start. Today is Monday, so happy Monday, you guys. Let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to start off with what you need to know right now. Then we're going to take a look at the energy surrounding you. We'll take a look at your finances, and then we'll give you some advice using the tarot and intuitively, okay? So let's start. Uh, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, give me clear and concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is it that they need to know at this time what is it that my virgos need to know at this time and this will resonate with whoever has virgo in their chart all right what's the message for my virgos to start the week off powerful what is the message what is the message to help my virgos start the week off powerful All right, so this could be advice or pointing you in the right direction or whatever was on your mind or maybe on your mind that you need to know at this time. Know that you are safe and protected. That's number one, okay? That's the overall energy of what you need to know to help you thrive this week. Know that you are safe and protected, okay? And then we see you are going to make mistakes and it is okay. Sometimes you learn by messing up. So for those of you who are hard on yourself and you're getting stuck in your head, overthinking, all right, constantly revisiting something that is already in the past, just work with the things that you can control and the things you can't let it fall by the wayside. I mean, that's what really helps you thrive, focusing on everything that you can change right and focusing on the things that are working balance all dimensions of your life so again with that balance card some of you guys may need to balance things and this could be things around you your environment for some of you guys you need more clarity you feel like you can't think clear sometimes you just need to restructure the things that are around you um clean out the clutter create a, a balance a balanced schedule a balanced diet um, a healthy group of friends, you know, things of that nature. Um, whatever it is you're doing, just create some type of balance or reconstruct the balance in your life and you'll see how much this will help you throughout the week, okay? Try not to resist the change that comes your way. Don't delay the inevitable. Some things are completely out of your control. The stress comes when you try to control something that is just not really meant for you to change. Sometimes things happen to ground us sometimes things happen to shake up situations to illuminate certain things that we may be missing so take that as it resonates for you but try not to resist the changes that come your way don't delay the inevitable if you need to walk away from something and this could even be a job you know whatever it is that you see that may be in your way or hindering you sometimes you just need to let it go and you'll see that it's like a weight lifted I know like it was a relationship, my last long-term relationship before I went on my spiritual journey. When I tell you as soon as I was strong enough to close that door, my whole life changed completely. I made more money than I ever made in my life. Doors continue to open. I met some amazing people. You know, there's a lot of people that pour into my life and help me thrive now. Like it's so much better. So that's just an example. Whatever your thing is that you need to stop resisting and just embrace whatever the change is that needs to happen do it. It's one of the best decisions you're ever going to make in your life. Trust me on that. All right. God always wants the best for you. I know the plans I have for you, plans for you to prosper, plans for you to grow. Or oh, what's the word? What does it say? Type it in the comments for somebody else that needs to read it. Okay. It will make all make sense to you soon. So everything that's been troubling you, everything that's been happening that you don't really understand why, and you've been asking, why is this happening? When is it going to be over? Like, what did I do to deserve this? Or why couldn't I keep that situation, that relationship, that job? Why are they turning their back on me? Well, it will all make sense to you soon. And all I can really tell you right now is that all is working together for your good. That's for sure. All right, let's put a tarot card on each of these to see exactly what Spirit wants you to know about this. Y'all, and we on the early morning shift today, okay, Virgo? I'm going, I'm changing things, okay? And I started a new project. I'm actually opening up an office. So now I'm in an office in the morning and 
I am busy, y'all. So I'm doing things. I'm making my dreams come true. And I pray that that's what you're doing as well. I pray that God is giving you the desires of your heart and the wisdom to know what to do with it as these opportunities open. Notice I didn't say if. I said as these opportunities open for you. Because we're planting seeds of growth, acceleration, accomplishment, and victory over here. That's the seeds I'm planting over here. So it's up to you to water them. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know about this energy. Thank you for your divine protection over each and every one of the people here on my channel, listening to my voice. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for keeping us safe in your arms, away from any hurt, harm, and danger. Break every spell, bind every curse, confuse every enemy, and thank you for allowing us to walk victori victorious this week in every situation that we may face. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, what is going on for Virgo? Show me for Virgo what they need to know. What does Virgo need to know? All right. <clears throat> so it will all make sense to you soon. Hierophant. So this is talking about your traditional beliefs. It could be talking about your religion, your values, ethics, your wisdom. Something's happening. It'll all make sense to you soon. I feel like it's coming out because with the Hierophant card, it's talking about guidance, divine guidance and something that is happening in order to help you grow, to help you gain more wisdom and help you to progress spiritually, progress spiritually, right? This happens, I feel like, and that is why whatever you're going through is happening. It's meant to help you grow. It's meant to help you learn. It's meant to help you elevate spiritually. And we all need that. Without change, there is no growth. So I feel like you're experiencing these changes to help you get to the next level. Okay. Somebody said, I just love her. I love you too, my love. Thank you guys for all your love and support and your beautiful comments. I haven't gotten a chance to read your comments. This is the first weekend I really had to settle after opening um, my new office space and doing all the things that I needed to do, y'all. I've been so busy. So that's why you haven't seen me posting like I usually do. You know, I have some great opportunities happening and I'm just grateful and I just been balancing everything okay by the way if you guys are interested in these cards I did create these cards for you you guys have been ordering more of the cards so order them on our website where you can book your readings love readings are on sale until the end of October closer than number two my destiny.com all right we're moving on to try to try not to re resist change the changes that come your way don't delay the inevitable all right so with the eight of swords this is you feeling helpless hopeless this is you needing to learn patience and feeling restricted um blind trust and mental anguish all right so remember that I don't want to tell you not to trust anybody, but really your loyalty needs to lie within yourself until people prove that they're worthy. It's okay not to feel like everybody's against you or everybody's a liar, but you definitely need to stand your ground, hold your own until you know that it's safe. All right. Especially if something is having you feeling restricted or overthinking things. Um, Just breathe, go with the flow and trust yourself that your intuition is going to guide you the god in you is going to guide you and shine outshine anything that's trying to get in your way all right just trust that all right and trust your gut feelings this week um because i feel like it's something that could have you stuck in your head and it's certain things that are going to change around you certain things that you can't help but to walk through and believe in yourself and try to see where it takes you okay so with the eight of swords don't overthink it nobody's perfect Sometimes you go through things just to help you grow, like we were saying, all right? Balance all dimensions of your life with the Ten of Swords, some type of ultimate betrayal, some type of backstab, failure, ruin, completion, enemies, and end. So I feel like today something might happen where you're realizing that not everybody is on your side. This week, it might not even be today, but this week. Right. And it's going to require you to balance all areas of your life. It may be somebody who really reveals themselves to you, but the Hierophant is here. So just keep your faith. All right. Remember what you've learned. Remember what you've learned spiritually. Remember, this is a spiritual battle. Remember, God is on your side for my people who are believers and know that it's not much that you do on your own without the power, you know, of God. And it and it flows through you. Yes. And I feel like this is what's encouraging you to move forward and be powerful, be strong and stay your ground. The Ten of Swords also means the end of a cycle, too. Um, but I feel like something somebody is going to show themselves this week and. 
somebody may betray you so just just be ready for it, okay? And somebody might be talking about it because I did see bad gossip um, as I was shuffling the other cards, these cards here. Um, I did see that here. So um, it may be a situation where um, somebody could communicate something about you or your it's something of that nature. Um, this card here is telling you for my queen of pentacles, it could even be a king of pentacles not really taking action. But remember how tranquil you are. Um, remember you're naturally abundant and you're well-rounded, all right? You're a businessman or woman, very much a social butterfly, very practical. So just remember that this week, if you make mistakes, understand that those mistakes are happening to teach you, okay? You learn by messing up. It's all right. Don't beat yourself up, okay? You might not get the response or reaction that you expected from a person. They might try to treat you like you're an idiot or they might make you feel bad. Um, but just trust yourself. Know who you are. Know that you're powerful and you're going to get it, whatever this is, okay? So that's for somebody this week. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't get stuck in your head. All right. And don't, don't be defeated by doubt. Just trust yourself. Everything is going to come together. We make mistakes. So we learn. Let's take a look at your finances and take a look at the other energies that may be surrounding you at this time. All right. So let's do finances real quick. How's Virgo's finances looking this week? I hope you appreciate the switch up of the reading. I just... I don't know. I'm trying different things. You know, we get bored fast and I don't want to get bored being here for you guys and giving you guidance. So let's switch it up a little bit. Switch it up a little bit for the Virgo. Take my lovies. All right. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> so we got hand manifesting money, reaching your goals and financial assistance. This is all going to apply to you this week. So there's going to be some type of breakthrough, some type of positive outcome surrounding your finances. Be quiet, sweetie. Hush it. Y'all, she ain't heat and she's just acting up. So this week you could be doing a lot of hands-on work. Um, some of you guys are going to find help getting a job. There's some new things that are going to be developing for you this week. I feel like you're going to have to step out on faith, not overthink and be easy on yourself because somebody's going to have some type of, or you do have some type of new shoes that you could be filling in at work. You know, this could be a new opportunity or a new role that you're going to be playing. Somebody could even ask you to train somebody this week. Um, so if you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up. Financial commitments, long-term investment, career partnership, working together in a fulfilling career. I feel like somebody is very happy at the job that they are at or doing whatever it is you're doing. This could be your business and somebody is feeling happy about how their business is thriving. Um, with this partnership, I feel like you're working together with someone and you feel fulfilled, whatever this is that you're doing, okay? Um, with the tower, we have earning power, building a business and a sound decision. So I feel like you're doing, you're doing what you have to do. Um, somebody, I heard somebody saying, this is so true. It's, it might not be as hard to start a business. It's easy to start a business. Anybody can buy an LLC. Anybody can just start something, but it's really challenging to create a successful business so with this being said re remember not to get stuck in your head about the little things and again like this energy that came out before saying you got to trust yourself all right and just go with the flow and know that you're more than capable somebody needs to really re remember their traditional values and beliefs and how you got this far with faith right so just believe in yourself and understand that um understand that Everything will come together. Somebody could feel like they're in an unstable position. They want more hands-on experience or you want to be the owner. You want to be your own boss. Somebody's tired of working under somebody. You just feel like you don't have any power. And I feel like everything is going to come together for your good. And it's a reason why things are going kind of slow right now. All right. It's a reason why you have to stay in the position that you're in right now. So just learn all you can while you're there. And remember the bag. Okay. Focus on the big goal, the end goal, your dreams and why you're doing this. Right. Where do you want to go? What is all this for? With the mask, a secret stash, savings, finding money and theft. OK, so <clears throat> if you work with a lockbox or anything like that or you work with cash, make sure that you're counting your money. Make sure that you're not letting anybody um, in, um, 
shadow you when it comes to money or finances or something like that just make sure you are paying attention to that all right and then we have acting assistant and hidden potential so somebody is going to discover that you have this hidden potential this week i feel like something is going to push you to the point where you really show and prove all that you have like i feel like my virgos love when people underestimate them like i'm a virgo too and we do love when people underestimate us we kind of don't like it but we like it because we get to prove how powerful powerful we are and I feel like that's what you're doing this week proving to somebody just how powerful you are right I really do so that's what we have in your finances Virgo all right let's get into this overall energy and what's surrounding you and then we're gonna go ahead and use the tarot to clarify that all right and thank you so much holy spirit holy angels give me the clear messages for Virgo what does Virgo need to see at this time what does my Virgo need to know for their higher good let's have a powerful week we hitting the ground running okay period so what does Virgo need to know at this time what does my Virgo need to know at this time y'all I made me some good coffee this morning mm. let's see what my Virgo need to know at this time somebody might have set a trap for you this week but you are going to outsmart them and that's another thing that came out about you. Look at this good gossip. Now, I saw bad gossip at first, but look what really came out. And I feel like you're going to show and prove. So for those of you who are going to be stepping in some new shoes this week, somebody wants you to prove yourself, you are going to do amazing. All right. There's a trap set for you, but you're going to avoid it. You're going to outsmart it. Whatever this is, it's like you're you know what you can do and you're smart. You're a, a master problem solver, y'all, and you're very analytical. This week, you're going to be using your analytical skills to see through obstacles and roadblocks, and you're going to really be showing somebody how powerful you truly are. So, yeah, let them keep on underestimating you, but you're going to show somebody how powerful you are, how creative you can be, creative forces. It says your creativity is endless. The creative power you hold within is far greater than you realize. You're amazing, y'all. You're going to show, you really are going to show somebody how clever you can be and how amazing you are and how you can thrive in the midst of a storm, in the midst of the pressure. It's like you work well under pressure and somebody is really going to learn who they have on their team. And I feel like they're not going to have anything but good things to say about you after you show people what you got. So Virgo, I believe they made a song about it. Show them what you're working with. Okay. Show them what you're working with. Okay. Don't be scared. All right. Don't be scared. God didn't give you the spirit of fear. Okay. So let's move on and see what else is here. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know what song she's singing, y'all. Some kind of mating call. But I'm tired of it. Sweetie, I love you dearly. Please hush. Shh. Hush, hush. Okay, y'all. Let's see what else. Y'all. I don't know that song. She's mad. She's like, I want a boyfriend and I want one now. <laughs> Poor baby. Sweetie, we love you. Hush. Okay, let's see. We love you. Yes, we do. She said no. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods for Virgo. Let's show Virgo what they need to know. Let's clarify this for Virgo. Feeling deeply. So somebody's feeling deeply about something. Um, Let's just put all the cards out and we're going to read them as we go. Because we got a couple more minutes. Independent with the Six of Pentacles energy. Good gossip with the Knight of Wands. Talking about your enthusiasm, how ambitious you are and your willingness to get the job done. Creative forces, Ace of Pentacles. Your creativity is about to take you far and... You're about to get that bag for it, okay? The more creative you are, the more opportunities you bring in. And I feel like if this is you winning prospects, you're going to get it. Shh. I'll give you a treat if you hush. Hush. Oh, God, y'all. She's cussing me out. Create it crystal clear. All right? It's time to see your life in its limitless potential without those rose-colored glasses. You're more than capable with the fool. It, listen. The sky's the limit to wherever you want to go, Virgo. You got this. All right, with this new beginning, you are going to be thriving and walking unscathed. A trap was laid out for you. It says you're fortunate. A trap was laid out for you, but you are too smart to fall for it. Protected, undamaged, and, and safe. 
right? You're going to outsmart whatever this is. And I feel like it's somebody testing you. King of Pentacles, that boss energy. That's what I'm talking about. All right. At first you came out earlier when it comes to your finances and you're just quietly earning your keep. You're quietly doing your thing. You're minding your business at work and you're doing whatever you need to do. You're not out in the limelight and too loud. You might be well known, but that's because you're amazing. You're simply fabulous. Okay. You're fabulous. Okay. So y'all claim this message. Drop your purple hearts. Be like, I got this. Whatever you need to type in there, I got this. So prepare for these things this week because this is kind of overall look of what you have coming towards you. And it's all ending up with you in this boss energy, king of pentacles, walking unscathed, proving yourself to be the one. Like you're like, oh yeah, I'm a keeper, period. I'm the boss, right? So if you're starting your new business this week or whatever you're doing, you're going to be thriving and you're going to show and prove. So be proud of yourself. Walking unscathed is what you're going to be doing. You love when they underestimate you and maybe anticipate the worst for you because then you get to show people exactly what you're made of. Let me show you what I'm looking at under the bottom of this deck over here. A win. All right. And they're going to be talking about it. This is going to be public appreciation or public discussion of how great you are this week. So get ready for that. I'm sending you love, light and positive energy. Thank you guys for your love and support. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, Virgos.